Hi, I'm Eric, the Travel Guy. Today, we're in Washington State, and for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you around the Olympic Peninsula. Let's go. The Olympic Peninsula is located in Western Washington. It's the large arm of land situated across the Puget Sound from Seattle. It's bound on the west by the Pacific Ocean, the north by the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and in the east by the Hood Canal. The Olympic Mountain Range is in the center of the peninsula, and it's home to the highest peak, Mount Olympus. Small towns dot the drive around the Olympic Peninsula like pearls on a string, each having its own special vibe. And there's a culinary loop to follow for scrumptious seafood like Dungeness crab and farm-to-table local cuisine. You'll find tasty beverages on the cider route around Port Townsend, the historic Victorian town with a long maritime history. Those of you wishing to up your Olympic Peninsula getaway, well, I suggest a two-nation vacation, and here's how to do it. Stay here in Port Angeles for at least a couple of days, and then take a day trip right over to Victoria. It's safe to say you will need a car when you're here, and simply driving around will give you a sense of perspective. This is a large peninsula, and if you're curious where to start, I say start at the Olympic National Park. If seeing is believing, then my friends consider me a believer. It spans nearly a million acres with 73 miles of coastline and represents three distinct ecosystems in four different regions. Glaciated mountains, subalpine forests and wildflower meadows, temperate rainforest and rugged Pacific coastline, and they're all beautifully present. When to visit is always a consideration when planning a vacation, so I can give you a little insight. Peak season here essentially runs from Memorial Day to Labor Day, which is over the summer months. Shoulder season, of course, you'll find those in the months right before summer and a little after. One of my favorite times to visit Olympic Peninsula is in September or October. You're probably gonna need a little help planning your itinerary, so head over to the area's official tourism bureau at olympicpeninsula.org. Trust me when I say you're going to want to see as much of the Olympic Peninsula as time allows during your visit. A couple of my must-dos are hiking at Hurricane Ridge, which showcases a stunning vantage point of the area, and exploring the vast Ho and Quinault rainforests that are among the great wonders of the Olympic Peninsula and offers plenty of opportunities to practice forest bathing, which has wonderful health benefits. Seeing all the incredible beauty of the towering trees, flourishing forest life, and haunting moss-covered trails will simply take your breath away and allow the pulse of nature to flow right through you. This is real rejuvenation. So I was thinking, we may have run out of time in this video, but the time is now for you to plan and take your next unforgettable vacation to the Olympic Peninsula. I'm Eric the Travel Guy, that's what I got. Hey, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video to inspire your friends. Also, to help you, every location and many others can all be found in our handy-dandy digital itinerary. Download more than 10 pages of practical information on what to pack, when to go, and so much more. Check out ericthetravelguide.com forward slash OP. Happy travels.